Our family like to do a lot of biking trip and uh, sometimes fishing or picnic and uh, with the kids to go around. Um, so years ago, I have installed a cargo rack for my bike so I can carry a little bit more gear or food and picnic stuff. And it's really useful for me. Uh, I don't have to carry a lot of weight in my backpack, make riding the bike much easier. And uh, my wife thinks that's a good idea also, so she also wants to have one of these in stock. So I already picked out one of the cargo uh, rack kit from online and I ride it yesterday. So I'm going to show you how, I, how to install it. It's not really that difficult. And um, we'll talk about some of the things that, some of the tricks that you need to pay attention. And also maybe some of the points that, um, uh, you know, when you're picking a cargo rack for your bike and uh, what's the things that you need to pay attention to. Okay, so this is the rack that I picked out for her bike. Uh, it's a little bit different than the one that I have, but uh, very similar. This is not the most expensive and fancy uh, rack out there, um, but it will serve our purpose. Um, I also like that it has three pieces of support to the main rack here, instead of something that won't have two. I think this is much a little bit more stronger. Um, and also, probably easier to mount with these type of uh, structure that you can use it to mount to the frame. Uh, it does come with uh, instruction, but it's just one piece of paper. It didn't show much, so I didn't even bother to spend time trying to understand what they're trying to say. But it's very straightforward. Uh, it can come with all the screws and nuts and bolts and washer. So uh, from here, these are the shortest ones, I organize them together. They all come with a washer there. And this is slightly longer than this. These uh, six set with nut in here, I think it's the one that to mount on the side frame. So you have six of them. And then you have the two longest one, I think it's allow you to uh, mark it right here, all the way closer to the rear wheel. These two pieces are already pre-installed. Well, somewhat. I mean, this came like this. I mean, this is too short screw as to holding this to my right here, which I'm going to show you later. It does come with one extra washer. I don't know if this is really intended or just, you know, some extra piece. But uh, I did some measurement for the length of the screws. Um, I'm actually prepared one extra washer. I'm going to show you why and uh, I'm going to use it later. The installation should be very straightforward. Um, the tool you need is uh, I have one of these uh, small adjustable wrench and all these uh, bolts in here uh, you have to use uh, this hex wrench. I think this is a 4mm one. WD-40 will uh, clean out those mounting holes. Piece of rack and gloves to uh, do the dirty things. Alright, so this is about the kit and uh, let's just put them together. Okay, so first thing first is to uh, assemble the rack. Put them somewhat together. And uh, there's only one way to fit this together. As you can see, um, if you flip it on this side, it will not match that well, okay? So, only this side. Now you also see that they're actually not perfectly match all the screw holes. So, that means at some point when you uh, put the bolt and nuts together, you will have to use some force to uh, put them in the right place, which is okay. These are not really steep and springy actually. So, let's go. So, 
so put the whole two size mount down. Now I can use the hex wrench to tighten them. Okay, so all six screw and the nuts are all tight. Now we just have to uh, mount this two bar in here. This is the side that is close to your seat, so use this. Okay, so these are all just kind of hand tight in storage. They're very flex and uh, you can change it because you will have to adjust it when you uh, mount this whole cargo rack onto the bike frame. Okay, so notice my uh, bike here actually have two mounting holes on the frame here. That's the, where we're gonna mount uh, uh, the two poles to the frame. And it has a nut on it, so I'm gonna remove it first. You may not have these two nuts here. This bike is have that to uh, cover the hole actually make it much better but still uh, you can see these all rusted in a way so that's why you're gonna need some uh, WD-40 and uh, we gotta spray to clean the hole make sure all is good Make the new bowl moving on as it's easier. On this bike here, I have two mounting holes for the post stand of the uh, cargo rack. Um, I think I'm gonna use the top one on both sides the same. Uh, so I think it's depend on they're quite flexible on this bike, but some of them you only have one one hole like my old bike there. Actually, you can see it in this particular bike. Hopefully, you can see it. There's only one hole here on the frame. But it worked. Again, it's first order of the business. You need to clean it actually. Make sure the dirt is not there. At this point, the bike is ready, and we just have to mount the cargo rack on it. So, if I push the screw all the way in without the washer, actually the bowl itself is probably too long. It will hit the lowest gear, or you know, whatever you call the gear there, and that's not desired. I mean, of course I can uh, cut it shorter with uh, a grinder or whatever, but it's probably easier to just get a washer and make it a little bit reduce some of the length of the bolt so and that's why I got an extra washer here hopefully you can see it. okay so it may may not you may may not need it but in my case I definitely need it okay so let's put some new on that washer is perfect so now that it's kind of lightly tightened up not completely tightened up the corner to install this two guy. Alright, so with that is on, you can kind of adjust it to make it visually.
okay so the installation is complete um, it's very simple probably taking me about 10 something minutes to do some measurement and all this to uh, all the adjust and everything the installation is very simple straightforward uh, nothing to it uh, the only thing is you know I put some uh, extra washer for the right side so the screw too is uh, the bow is not too long to uh, affect the gear there and uh, as, you can, as you can see in the left side I didn't put the washer in and this is actually sticking out a little bit right see that um, other than that pretty easy uh, don't lock down everything first while you're installing that um, there are many different style and uh, you know different kind of uh, material for the bike cargo rack I think before you go buy one uh, just check what kind of mounting system your bike uh, bike frames offer uh, if you don't have this two mounting hole on the side uh, you gotta have to find other solution for example my old bike here my cargo rack actually is uh, I don't know if you can see it actually it didn't mount to the frame this frame does not have the two mounting hole right there you have to mount to the seat pole and also again you look at the support pole in here is that could go straight down to the wheel axle instead of using the mounting hole there so make sure the one that you buy will fit the frame that you have um, there's a lot of other uh, of course you know there's always solution I mean if you don't have this tool and you don't want to mount to the seat pole you can always get You can always get one that with uh, so-called a bridge adapter come up with. So you can actually mount it right here, and you will have the two holes to mount to support the bar from here. So um, all in all, you know it's not difficult. Um, this one seems to be fine. It's not expensive. Will serve the purpose, and will not overkill. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully this video will give you some idea if you're shopping for a bike cargo rack. And uh, please subscribe and like, and I'll definitely make more interesting video for you guys. Okay, see you next time.